Hello everyone, welcome to Mojokad once again. Yeah, so in today's story, we are going to be looking at the convert entities and how it is used. Yeah, it is so important in SolidWorks if you are to do multiple sketches from a 3D diagram to be knowing how to use the convert entities. Yeah, so I'm going to give some brief idea about it and how you should use it. So the first key point you should notice that for you to use the convert entity in the sketch, it will have an intersection curve and convert entities. However, for convert entities to be active, the sketch should be active. The sketch should be active. That's how we are able now to see the converted entities. See ya. So I'm going to first draw a cylinder. Then I show you how we can use it. So having drawn my cylinder, I already have this circle here. Making the perimeter of the cylinder. So if I have it, then I don't have to select the sack again and I draw so what I can do basically is I can click here then I say sketch having clicked the face and say sketch then I can come to convert it this so this circle has been made once again using the convert it command so from here I can now say let me offset it see so after offsetting it i reach that level then i can also decide to extrude the combination that i have see so now i have a hole a combination of a cylinder a solid bar and a cylinder and the other one I'll open the end and the close the end for the other half so with this still since i have this instead of going back and drawing circles here i can just say sketch then I come here and say convert it so the two the two have been selected really no the outside one has been selected so if i want to convert even the inside one i can either first click on it like that then i say convert it like that so the two have been selected. The two have been just converted. I've not drawn them again. I've just used the convert entity command. So it applies to all the shapes that you can have. It's a, it can be a curve, it can be square, it can be a star. The outside shape that you click on, that's what it will take, you know? So with this, you're saved from repeating the same sketches, repeating the same sketches, same sketches. However, you have to remember that for it to work, you have to first select the sketch because you're sketching. It's a property of the sketch. So remember that before I do anything, I must be in sketch. Then from sketch, I can convert entities. Without that, you will never be able to convert entities see yeah so from this you can go ahead and do more sketches say if i have that i'm just trying to show you how you can get creative with this so i can decide to now offset this so by directional like that and then I can come and trim trim of this trim of that trim of this trim of that Oops, sorry. 
Ultra Mega Game. Trim again. Trim again. So, this probably I can trim this too. I trim this too. Then this. This. I can also finally delete this. So I just use the convert entity to do all these things. I have not drawn a single thing apart from this line that I made. Then for me I can. And then I'll have that. You see? So what I'm using here is the convert entity command. Yeah. So I'm going to try out one more example using the convert command, convert entity. I'll come here, I select that. I can also press control then select that. I come here. So you see, it's only intersection curve. So I select this, then convert entity will be active. I do that. Now with this made there, what I can do, like now I've gotten my sketch so I can go ahead and use it to whatever whatever way that I want whichever way that I want I can decide to extrude cut through all like that. then I have something like that so that's how you call you use the convert it command it applies to any side assuming i want to do this still i'll say sketch then from there the convert entity so this rectangle has been highlighted as if now it has been drawn so i can go ahead and apply more work using it and i can can say to the surface and I say okay so I've been using the convert entity only so far I haven't used any other thing so one more I can select that after selecting it make sure that you choose sketch from either here or from the dynamic selection key then you come and say convert entity convert so still this whole face has been sketched out now i can use it as my new sketch so here i can come and say extrude once again then i put like a draft so i can have something like that once again yeah, so that's how you can use the convert entity yeah it is a great tool you don't have to do a lot of sketches a lot of what yeah from your 3d you go straight away to a new platform so thank you so much for watching please if you haven't subscribed subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell yeah to support my channel thank you so much keep around for more videos